you're looking at a CDC 6500 uh, dual processor computer system built in 1967. It is a much larger project for us than we've ever dealt with and as far as significance it's going to be close to the oldest thing we have in the museum so it's a big it's a big big deal for us <laughs> this machine uh, was turned off in 1989 uh, from Purdue and uh, it has been in storage by uh, Cray up until recently. It's in very good condition in terms that it uh, doesn't have any broken parts or corrosion or that type of thing, but there are some significant challenges. We've got interbay cables that have been cut. We have a refrigeration system that needs to be restored. This is a unique thing about this machine or this line of machines is that it has no fans in it. You know, all the uh, cooling is done with re, uh, liquid coolant and each one of these three bays here has its own refrigerator in it and all of that will need to be um, uh, tested and evaluated and we have, to, we have to get the refrigeration system working. We can't even begin to power it up without it because you power it up for a few minutes and you've got a mess on your hand. Okay, so this is what's known as the dead start panel. Um, this um, Seymour Cray was well known for not having a lot of lights or on his or other user interface stuff. This was basically how you started a uh, a uh, Seymour Cray computer. This is one of the refrigeration systems down here. This is the, um, the compressor is down here. This is the condenser. The cold water um, is flushed through it uh, and uh, refrigerant is sent into the remaining part of the system. So this is, um, this is a chassis and uh, these are uh, part of the power supplies. This is the back side of memory modules. Um, and uh, these are, uh, these black cables here are interbay cables. Um, they're, uh, they're actually individual coax cables that are um, about 95 ohms. These are the ones that are cut and these are the challenge in front of us is to restore these. Uh, somewhere they use you can see the tiny little pins that will plug into um, into into these type of holes taper pins so if he wasn't using coax he was using twisted pair um, so this is if you look at a new modern cray you can sort of see the similarities This is logic. This is called a cordwood module. You'll notice they ha that there are parts that are soldered on two different opposing printed circuit boards. If you see down in here, there is a, um, a copper pipe. The heat transfers from the cordwood module to these plates. We met with uh, Seymour's right-hand man when we collected this and his name is Les Davis and uh, Les was behind many of the big Cray success stories and uh, the last comment Les had to me when I left it is he said it's going to be harder to restore this machine than it was to build it originally and we're finding out that that's that's true <laughs>